Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Sorry, it's been a minute since my last video, but I'm gonna show you how I got this pastel neon graphic liner. So let's just get on into it. Okay, so I have my seven Suva Beauty Hydro Liners lined out here. Six of them are colors and one of them is the white. I am mixing white in with every single shade. What you're gonna want is some water and then I'm just using my spatula to mix them all together. And I also am placing them on like a little mixing tray. You can use a plate. So I'm adding the water into the pot and then I'm just mixing it. And then I'm gonna be scooping some out and then putting it on the palette. So this process is a bit time consuming, but the cool thing about it is once it's on the tray and after it's like dried out, you can just add more water to it and reactivate them and use your custom color combinations until you run out because these are water activated. So you just keep adding your water to the um, hydro liner and you have your liquid liner again. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so now we're on green. Here we go, now scrunchy. Now, I think what I did in the beginning here I wanted these more pastel than they ended up being so honestly you want to take a little bit of the color and you're gonna take a lot more white that's okay I end up mixing in a, a lot more white uh, later on now we're on acid trip this one is so pretty mixed with space panda it's like the perfect neon peach and I am obsessed with that <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so now we're moving on to this dance party, I think. Dance party or fanny pack. I always get those two names mixed up, but I know that they're the yellow and the green. All right, so now we have my white, and we're going to mix that in with the purple. I definitely had a, a, a lot, like way too much purple on the plate, but it's okay. I'm going to end up adding in a lot more white to it as we go. And I'm adding in water just to activate it and make it more of that liquid consistency. Once you use these a lot more, you'll figure out what the best consistency is. Um, it's kind of just working with it and, and getting to know the product. So then I was like, let me move this along a lot faster. So I added my water right to the white. And I'm actually, like I made it very liquidy. And I'm like pulling it into the different colors. Which, this is a little bit risky because... The colors do tend to bleed all together, but I rolled with it. So as you can see, I'm just mixing them up with the white. And oh my god, acid trip with white is literally my favorite. It's so pretty. So as you can see, they're getting a lot more liquidy once they have like that water mixed into them. And then here I am adding more white to Aztec. I wanted this very pastel and at first it was not very pastel uh yeah so I think I'm just going in and adding white to all of them because they still weren't pastel enough for me like I just I love this product so much like how cool is it to be able to custom mix the colors of your liners and like I'm only mixing them with white to make them pastel like imagine all the colors you can make by mixing different colors together obsessed okay so now we are ready to place these on my eyes so i'm first taking the scrunchy space panda combo and i'm using all of suva's brushes for this the 610 620 and 630 brushes i'm not sure which one i'm using here i believe it's 620 and then i'm going in with the acid trip space panda combo and those two, they blend so easily together. I think it's just the nature of the colors and um, how much white I had in each. So yeah, I'm just going along my lash line first. Okay, so now we're taking the yellow white combo and I'm just winging that out and I did think that the yellow and the orange was a little bit harder to um, mix together. So I'll show you what I do. So first I go back and forth between the two colors and their perspective brushes. I have different brushes for each color. Um, and then I wet my brush and it already has the color on it. And then I kind of just run them over together when my brush is like pretty wet 
and guys it blends it together so easily it's almost like you don't even have to do any work so there we go that part is done and i'm just cleaning up the wing All right, so now we're going into the graphic liner part and I'm taking my green white combo and I'm just drawing a line right there. You can start on the inner part, you can start on the outer part, you can start in the middle, whatever you fancy. I just wanted to start with the green. That's what I was feeling. So I get my shape going there. And I believe I'm using the 610 brush here because it's the finest tip. And now I'm going in with the, I think this is, is this Freezy? The Freezy and Space Panda combo. And I mean, those two colors blend easily together so well as well. Like, look at that. But I'm going to show you in a little bit how, um, how I do just to make them even more seamless. So yeah, I'm just going in and perfecting the shape that I want first. And now I take my brush with the previous color, go over top, and then I take my wet brush. It has product on it, but then I dunked it in the water and I kind of just run it across and then they blend seamlessly. It's really cool. All right, so now I'm going into my Aztec Space Panda combo, which is the purple, and I'm drawing the last part of that wing. And look, dunked my brush in water and it just blends it. It's so cool. So then I did just go over it with the purple a little bit, had some on my brush and then dunked it in the water. Boom, there you go. That side is done. Now we're moving on to the other side. I decided to switch the colors. Um, I just thought it a little bit more fun. So we're going in with the Aztec Space Panda combo. And now we're going in with the Freezy Space Panda combo. You just have to take your brush with product on it, dunk it in the water, and then go over top. See? Blended. <laughs> Sorry I'm going really fast. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below and I can maybe try and film a more in-depth video if this didn't make that much sense uh, in this video. So here I was drawing my wing. This eye has a little bit more wrinkles, so it's a little harder. <laughs> but there we go. D dunked it in the water and then we're blending. See? Blended. Boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> So we're going in with the scrunchy space panda combo and this on this side I decided to do the inner part of the graphic line first. And then we're going to go into the acid trip space panda combo. I can't get over this color. It's all I ever want to wear in this life. <laughs> Okay, so once I have that done, we blend them and then we move on to the yellow and wing that out. I'm constantly like moving my head back just to make sure that the um, both sides are even because my face is very uneven and I always have to worry about my wings being even. Yeah, so if I keep moving my head back, like that's why. Alright, so then I wet my brush with some of that product on it and we are going to blend those two colors together. So here I was just going in and just like thickening up the lines and oops. <laughs> little mess up it's okay we're just gonna clean it up with concealer and now the eyes are finished I just popped on these lashes from Huda Beauty 
And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll hopefully see you on the next video. Bye guys.